Galilee uh, Bata, uh, Oh yes, yes, I remember now. So uh, when um, Nathaniel said, "How can somebody uh, good come out of Nazareth?" Right. So I know that there are two people, who, good people, who came out of Nazareth. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Nazareth back then, today it's around 90,000 people living in Nazareth. This is the river Jordan you see coming out of the Sea of Galilee towards the west. Wow. And we will uh, cross over the uh, dam in just a minute. We'll turn right. And on the left side, when we uh, cross the river, this is a site that Israel opened in the 80s as a replacement uh, alternative site for baptism. The traditional site of uh, where Jesus was baptized is next to Jericho, where the Israelites crossed. That's another traditional site. Uh, that's a traditional site. Here, this is where the River Jordan leaves. And to the left, you can see this is a Yardinit, the small Jordan, and people get baptized here. Uh, okay, so back then, Nazareth was almost only 250 people, only 10, 11 households. Uh, it was a nobody knew about Nazareth was nothing. I mean, it's just a small village. Nobody about even heard of it. And then the, the surprise of, of Nathaniel. I never heard of Nazareth. Anything good comes out of this village. Nobody knows of. Uh, I mean, uh, Nazareth was settled by the uh, Judah, uh, Judahites from the tribe of Judah, uh, the family of Jesus and uh, neighbors. 100 years uh, before Jesus, during the Hasmonean period. Uh, so it was, it's called even the name, Netzer, means an offshoot of Judah. They were trying, it's called that, you know, and, and Matthew, it says, the Galilee of the Gentiles, right? So we're in the Galilee, Nazareth in the Galilee. So it was the Galilee of the Gentiles. So that's what was the, uh, uh, that's why, it's not like the Nazareth were bad people or bandits they're just small simple farmers and they wouldn't expect a rabbi as famous as Jesus and he is not just a rabbi he's the messiah to come out of this insignificant village of only 250 maximum 300 people oh I forgot Michael bought everyone a, uh, I think it's a keychain from Beth Sheehan. So uh, we can thank him later, but I'm gonna, we can pass it around and everyone can take one. Okay, uh, the Sea of Galilee, uh, the locals here in Hebrew, they call it Kineret, which means uh, a harp. If you look at the map, the shape of the, a, uh, it looks like an old harp. Uh, the only city that was built 2,000 years ago on the shores of the Sea of Galilee is Tiberius. We're going, we're going to go through Tiberius, and the hotel is uh, in Tiberius, city of Tiberius. Um, Herod Antipas, the one who beheaded John the Baptist, uh, he named it. He built the city actually in 20, uh, uh, the year 20 A.D and he uh, made he named it after uh, the emperor liberius his boss you know you need to know how to uh you know to impress his boss we're on the north uh, we're on the southern uh, shores uh west side so on the left this is galilee to the right the high mountains this is the golan heights in the time of Jesus, all the Jewish uh, uh, settlements were on the northern shore of the Sea of Galilee, including Magdala and uh, uh, Bethsaida and uh, uh, Magdala, the hometown of Mermaid in Capernaum, uh, Genosar. Uh, even the name that uh, the lake was has different names. Uh, in Arabic, we call it Tiberius, and it also was mentioned also in the a good book as Tiberius, Lake of Tiberius, after the name of the city, uh, Tiberius, which was also built as a Roman city, not a Jewish city. Uh, the main road uh, we're driving at when we reach, you will see uh, a lot of ruins, even parts, pieces of columns. This will be the Cardo, 
Remember the cardo cuts the heart of the city from south to north. On the other side, this is the Gentiles. Uh, there is one of the Decapolis, the ten cities. Uh, it's up on that high hill. Uh, it's called Hippos, or in Hebrew, Sosita. Most probably Jesus, when he was on the Sermon of the Mount, he pointed at this city on the hill. It's just to our right, on top of that hill. Hippos. So these are the only two cities of the Decapolis, the rest of the eight are in Jordan. So is it clear about uh, today, tonight? So we're uh, stay on the bus, I'll bring the, the, your cards. Uh, you, uh, the porters will take down the bags into the lobby. Uh, you will put, after you get the card, you will get uh, stickers. If you they put two stickers, if you need more, you can uh, ask for more from the reception. Uh, we'll, we'll get it for you, don't worry about it. And you can add, write the number of the room and they will take the, uh, the, room, the bags to your room. If you need your bags yourself, after you get the key, you can just take the bags yourself if you want, don't want to wait for the bags. Uh, to your room. It's, it's, not a, uh, it's not a must that they will uh, to, to leave the bag in the lobby. You, you can take it yourself. Uh, so remember, to, we're staying till Wednesday here. We're leaving, we're staying uh, three nights, so we're leaving on Wednesday. So we don't check out in, only till Wednesday. Of course, we'll give you more instructions. Uh, so just as, uh, so the good news is that we're staying here for three nights. That's wonderful. Um, you can wash your clothes. Uh, so the reason why uh, Manel said we have to leave on time tomorrow is because we have to, we're going to do a boat ride, boat cruise, so we have to leave at 7.30 sharp, that's why you already mentioned that. We're also going to go to Horns of Hatim, which is um, a possible site for the Beatitudes, um, and also the Valley of Doves, which is a hike, not nowhere near as difficult as Sinai, uh, but it's probably not as well paved because it's very natural and so that's likely the, the well you know pro pro almost certain path that the Lord took when he went from Nazareth to Galilee so if you look at your map where Nazareth is it's up and then they have to go all the way down to Galilee so we're going to take that route so make sure you wear good shoes tomorrow don't wear flip-flops don't wear soft shoes uh, wear shoes that can handle, you know, a, a, a hike. So probably what you wore to Sinai, all right? And remember, these days are very hot. And uh, do not be careful when you're hiking. I don't want to scare you. We don't have many venomous, we're not like in Africa or in tropical areas. We don't have a lot of venomous snakes, but please be careful. Usually in the heat they come out, so please stick stick to the path. Do not. I know there are a lot of kids here. Do not go around. Stick to the path, guys. You know snakes are afraid more than us, than we are afraid of them. But uh, we don't want to take the risk. Usually they they don't attack humans, and we don't have. But uh, it's always good to be careful, right? Yes. Okay. Tiberius also had hot springs. And uh, the hot springs are to the left. They had a Roman bath here now. Uh, the remains of this building is a Turkish bath. So that this is the hot spring Hamad area. And they also found a Byzantine synagogue. So the Jews were here also during the Byzantine time. Uh, Israel has the, a, uh, in the, 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 the export. The major exports are cutting diamonds. They import. Uh, Royal diamonds and they cut them here and this is one of the uh, national diamond cent uh, jewelry center uh, very uh, I mean it's it's uh, just you know passed pass by I just wanted to mention it uh, the men are gonna kill me now right <laughs> now the wives we want to go we want to go <laughs> Now, uh, one thing, 
70% of the ministry of Jesus happened on uh, in, in this uh, area, in the north shores. Uh, on the uh, right side, do you see this? Like there's a, uh, a, a two mountains beam, like a valley in the middle. Uh, to the right side, this is one of the sites identified as the place of uh, a, a Jesus when he went and uh, you know the legion of uh, casting out the demons it's called Kursi or uh, uh, so that's the area over there anyway tomorrow uh, well, I, uh, we're gonna uh, sail along and, and point out these sites so don't worry uh, we, we're getting closer tomorrow on the boat so tomorrow it's gonna be like three hours on the boat so uh, there's no have bad news there's no restrooms on the boat <laughs> so don't drink a lot of water or dairy stuff and use the restroom before we, we leave the hotel, okay? So the a, a, a Herodian uh, Tiberius is to our left and they have also a theater. You see that cliff next to us? He had a small theater there, but the difference is was wasn't totally built. It's cut in the cliff. So the seats are uh, carved in the, in the, uh, in the, um, on the cliff. It's very uh, not taken care of. There's no much budget. Nobody. Uh, you you will see on the left side. This is like the cardo, uh, and you will see if you look, you might see some columns just laying there on the on the side of the road. This is a modern Jewish uh, graveyard, and you can see also some old ones. When the city of Tiberias was built, uh, the Jews said uh, it's not a holy city. It's a pagan city. Uh, it was built also on a, a holy ground of its, a graveyard. So, but sometimes, you know, things change. Tiberius is uh, one of the four cities holy in, uh, in, in, for the Judaism. Of course, Jerusalem is the number one. Uh, you have also uh, Hebron, where uh, Abraham and the patriarchs are, and the matriarchs are buried. And also uh, another city called Tzfat or uh, Safat. Or, the highest mountain in the gallery. Okay, we're two minutes away from the hotel. I see there are already uh, one bus in front of us, so they will load and I will leave you and go get the cards and enjoy the AC <laughs> better than, and then they will have for sure some dates and some uh, drinks, welcoming drinks. Not like yesterday, uh, all the fruits, but uh, you will have some dates and, and some uh, water that looks uh, maybe color with yellow or I don't know, not natural juice. So anyway, you will have the welcoming drink, but I'll bring you the cards uh, to the bus, all right? Yes. Thank you. Yeah? Question. 